I swear it to a fisher, man. I mean, so much swag. Y'all can't catch up. So this is the modern watermark I made using Microsoft Paint. You want to make sure the background behind it is not blurred. So when you make it transparent, it works properly without like seeing the white dots everywhere. You want to make it so the background's all the same color. But you might think when you save it that um it makes it blurred by itself. So if you do 24 bitmap and save it, it will not make it. But if you do 24 bitmap, right? And save it, um, then it, then it won't, then it won't blur. So the background will all be white. Um, so once you save that, you want to go on Open Movie Maker. Um, so, you put in your video by going over here, and you hit import video, I'm just going to do this video really quick, it's my latest video I just made, uh, as you see it pops up over here, drag it into the timeline at the bottom, it shows how long it is. I then, after that, I edit the video with the effects and stuff. I did, I'll show you the effects I did. I did, um, this one right here. I did this one right here. And if I go down, I also did this one. And that one. If you watch my latest video, it will look like that. Anyway, so I just paused it. Once you finished editing it, you go over here, you save it to your computer, right? And you save it to whatever way you can memorize it. You then close Movie Maker, you don't need it anymore. Open Camtasia, Camtasia Studio, I'm using Camtasia Studio 6. You then um, import the video that you made, so it then pops up like that, drag it to the bottom, wait for it to all load, this pops up, just hit OK. Once you did that, it's really simple from now. Just hit produce video as. Hit next. Leave it as custom. Er, put it as custom settings. And hit next. Make sure it's set to WMV Windows Media Video. Hit next. And then go up here. See the setting right here? Make sure it's set to. Camtasia Studio PowerPoint Video and Audio High. It should be near the middle. So it might be actually right in the middle. Okay, so then hit next to there. Make sure um wait, yeah, okay, so hit cut make sure it's set to custom size. Background color, whatever you want to set it to. Go here. And then right here you hit include watermark, you hit options. You hit this thing right here and put in the picture of your watermark. Over here is a preview of what it will look like right there. Um, go back over here. You choose where you want it to be. Where you want the watermark to be. I put it like that because it makes it look like raw. Like bad. I wouldn't want to make it really wide. So you choose the size using this. You choose 
horizontal. on this is um pretty much more precise where you want it. This stuff. Um if you go up here you hit emboss. If you want to you don't have to. It changes it to look like that. You can choose what style you want with this. I just I wouldn't do that. And then you wanna do use transparent colors. See without it it will look like that. And you make sure the color is set to whatever your background color was. And if the background was not all one color, like if you did JPG file or whatever, it would be all blurry, so you'd see like a blur around it and it wouldn't look good. Um, uh, you can do this if you want it to be faded as much as I well. do 100%, it means it's not faded at all. When you're done, you hit OK. Um, it shows right there what it looks like. You can then hit preview down here if you want to see what it looks like. Okay, so then you hit next. Leave this stuff how it is. This stuff right here. Hit next at that. Name what you want it to be. Choose what folder you want it to go to. Then hit finish. And then um, you'll save it to your computer where your folder is and you upload it to YouTube and there you go. You have a watermark on it. Simple as that. Marco, Polo, Marco. Polo, Marco, 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 Polo,